So guys, I'm back in time for episode 7 of series 3 of Army Men, and again with the opening segment, Kurt, David, and Mr. Men are right here discussing yesterday's events. Of course, yesterday being that huge burning that Red Soldier took, that fire that I dealt to him, that I made Pete do. And Pete's staying over here while he's in a different area, because he, because remember yesterday's episode, he went off on everybody, saying, I don't give a shit about the checkup, technically he said. And he said it didn't do anything for him. So now they're going to discuss it. Look, I know how this is, guys, but I'm so worried about Pete. We all are, Kurt. We're all worried about him. I mean, I can't believe what he did yesterday. He went off on not just Sid, but all of us. He went off on me telling me that the checkup didn't do anything for him. I'm telling you, the madness has gotten to his head pretty hard. Because it was already nearing its peak too when I checked it. His madness is at its peak. And if we don't try and do anything, he's going to lose it completely. He's going to rampage everybody. If we don't do something. We have to intervene. Because Pete has been losing it like crazy lately. His madness has reached its peak. It's covering his entire brain now. His mind is overcome by madness. And that's all he can think of. So if we don't stop him, I'm afraid we're going to end up losing him, probably. Yeah. wonder what Sid and the others are talking about. Alright, let's go to the next scene. Alright, over here, Sid and Jack are discussing the stuff about P2. Because it looks like they might have some intel on the whole thing. And plus, this is the area we're using for the battle today. I might try and get the checkboard on there, or I'm just going to use this window so In fact, I didn't use this spot in the last one because there used to be an AC that was over here that got moved into the other room. Well, of course, there's the big one right there. So now I'm able to use this spot. Yeah, and I'll go ahead and show it. Like, this is the window area right here. Alright. Well... It seems it's time to bring that plan into action, huh, Jack? Yeah, you said it, Sid. I told Pete yesterday during that whole argument that I'd be doing some hard to his men for burning my man yesterday. And that was the ultimate sin that he committed by burning my guy. Set him on fire. And I'm not going to take that. So what I'm going to do to him... This isn't the only thing I'm going to use today. You see, I'm going to use more than just a pair of scissors to kill off some men of his. I have other weapons too that I'm going to use. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and you see what Pete did as well? He went off on everybody. Mr. Man, David, Kirk, he went off on all of them. Especially Mr. Man saying that checkup didn't do anything for him. So yeah, this little bastard's gonna pay. His madness has reached its peak, and that's his problem. That's Pete's problem. His madness is at its peak. It's overcome his brain. His mind is flooded by it. So yeah, we're gonna strike. It's gonna be an even bigger victory if not only do we take out some of their men like that in real, but if we win this battle as well. Which we've been winning the most part. The only time we've lost so far is episode 4. Other than that, we've won the rest of them. And this is episode 7. So they've won, we've won 5 of them, they've only won 1. But we're going to get another victory and we'll be at 6 wins. Not consecutive, but still I'm more than them. So let's get the battle ready. Actually, during that whole thing between, um... Kurt, David, and Mr. Man, I was going to have Pete try and say something in secret over here, but I can't hear him, so he's over here, but he's about to go over there in a bit, too. <sighs> what am I going to do? I'm so overcome by madness. All I can think of is murder. It may be at its peak, but I'm at my strongest with it. And none of those fools are going to stop me. 
Sid won't stop me. Mr. Man won't stop me. Neither will Kurt or David. Any of them. Because if they do, I'll consume their flesh and make sure they don't come back. So all I ask for is this. Is it good enough support? Because all that I've dealt with lately has been traumatizing me and that's why I've been this way. And every day that this happens, I think about it. And I have to realize what I'm dealing with here. <laughs> what I'm dealing with is pure insanity. But I'm proud to be insane. And Sid knows it too. He's gonna pay for it. So yeah, the battle's gonna begin in a few minutes. I can see that they're already lined up there. And when the battle begins, if they try and start any shit, I'm gonna kill Sid and Pete and all of their... Not, I said my own name by mistake. I'm gonna kill Sid and Jack and all their men. If they're gonna try and take me down, then they're gonna go down too. <laughs> So they better be ready to deal with it because I'll enjoy dealing them all the pain that I have they will feel it and they won't like it but I will <laughs> I will enjoy every last second of it <laughs> Alright, time to go over there. Okay, battle set up and here we go. Alright, here we are. Oh, and by the way, they don't know that Pete's actually right here behind them. They're wondering where he's at. Actually, I should move him over a bit. He's going to be down here. They don't know that he's down there, but they think that because of the insane he's gotten, he hasn't shown up. No, no. Alright, let's see. Oh, but wait a minute. If it lands on his number, then... Yeah, okay, it didn't even go to 7 or 8, so... It's who? It's Steve. Okay, Steve's leading. So let me move them over here. Steve and Michael. His backing guy in the HP. In case of it happens. Alright. Jesus. Wait a minute, there's an empty spot down there. Where's Pete at? Who knows? Why even ask where he is? The bitch is probably wondering what he's doing. He's probably trying to rethink his life. You don't know that. You don't have to be rude. Uh, hello? Did you not see what he did to my guy yesterday? He burned him to ashes. I told him I'm going to get revenge. In some of the most violent ways possible that I can kill him. And so I'm gonna eat their flesh and shit. You don't know. Pete could be anywhere. He probably just hasn't shown up because it's gotten to him. The madness has. He's probably just not here. Whatever. Let's get going. You're gonna lose anyway. Yeah, fuck you, Sid. Fuck you, Kurt. Whatever. Let's go. And you lose the first dice roll. Shit. Only one. It's only one. So I'm not gonna be pissed. You will later. Oh yeah, bet on it. Don't leave your bet on it, dude. Three of them. Jesus. Jenkins. Three again! Jesus! How come I haven't won one yet? I guess you're finally gonna lose again. Don't even say that. Kurt. Four of them! Jesus, I haven't killed any of you yet! 
Oh, wait a minute. It's probably that thing happening like it did in Series 2. It waits till I'm down to a few men, then it starts letting me win. It wasn't going like that in all the battles I've won so far. There we go. Four of them, not. I guess I'll take that. I mean, that's the first number, the lowest number of the high range ones, so I'm okay with it. These pants are kind of big on me, but. There we go, now I'm starting to win. Three of them. It's gonna be a comeback for me. Nope, you're back to losing. God damn it! What's that? What are you talking about, Sid? No, really, what is that right there? Oh, this? This little thing? Yeah. Breed it in and make your voice higher. Ain't that right? Why, well, yes it is. Sid, what the fuck's going on? Have you lost it now? No. Why are you pointing out random stuff then? Whatever, just breed it in and make your voice higher. I ain't doing that shit. What the hell are you talking about, Sid? Whatever you're gonna lose. Four of them. Yeah, thinking you can beat me. Look where you're down to. And look what you're down to. I'm gonna kill you first. God damn it. Only one. Yeah, not only one now, is it? Three. That's the most you've killed on a dice roll. You haven't gotten any of the high number ranges, I don't think, besides one four, actually. Or some, but you haven't got killed a five or six. Yeah, but still, we're catching up bit by bit. We're pretty much almost equal right now. One step at a time. And now you're about to lose in it. Three of them. Oops. We haven't had a double yet in this match. Three of them. Dude, keep getting three. Imagine once we get down to three. On either side. Come on, man, get the dice roll now! Oh no, 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 number reversal. Wait, how many am I? Oh shit, I just realized I'm down to six. Oh no. God, we got a hope on HP battle, else this is going to be our second loss. Yes, I get to do it. But will Jack come with me? Nope, it's only me. But at least I'm still in it. Yeah, there's our chance too. Yeah, but if but if you do it, Steve, only you get to come. You only get to come over here because that's the rules. Like it was explained to the new guys, that whenever this happens, whichever way it happens, if the other side's able to do it, you have to have the same amount. Like if it's the backing guy is there, then you can bring it. But if not, then it's just us. So if you get to come, and only you come, Steve. Michael stays. God damn it. I'm at 28. Twenty-four. Got six of your men, yes. Two men left. You're gonna lose, Steve. I'm gonna beat you. Twenty one. Gets a two. Damn it. Hey. 
Get it again. No. Oh, I'm afraid it's going to be the enemy if I don't kill him. Seventeen. Fourteen. Get the two. Damn it. Ten. Get the two. Yes. Yeah, one again. Geez, y'all ain't beating shit. Damn it, almost had him. Well, you didn't get me. And now, time for that plan. Stop right there. Pete, where the fuck did you come from? I was down there. What? You were high down there the whole time? Yes. So everybody... Everybody, stand up. Stand up. I'm ready to take control of all of you. Pete, what are you doing? Pete, stop! Shit, where'd the thing go? Crap, where are you moving? Hang on, there was a weapon thing I was gonna grab over there. Let me see if I can find it. I'll be back. Okay, I got it. I was trying to find it. Staple gun. Ah, boy, son, I got my weapon. Pete, put him down. Well, I'll put him down, all right. So, yeah, get all your men. Everybody, time to stand up. Stand up. It's your, it's attention time now. Jesus, you're off your rocker. I know I am. Please don't do it! Say your prayers, asshole. Damn! He just exploded! Holy shit! <laughs> Damn, he just fucking exploded! pieces landed but that's one of them I found and now Sid's gonna do that as payback you son of a bitch made him explode no we gotta do it right on the scene and watch it the motherfucker just exploded holy shit where's Sid oi son Boy, son. Sid, stop. You did it to one of mine. Now I gotta do it to one of yours. Hasta la vista, baby. Oh! Wait, it didn't do shit. Damn it. I gotta find a way to make it completely shown. Like the way the other one died. Um, what am I doing it on? Let me see if I can get him to the box. I mean, it's gonna be thrown out anyway. Let me see. This should work. Damn it, it's not working. How come this one's not getting blown to pieces? Do I have to have them on the wall? I want it to be shown though. God, what am I gonna do? I gotta think here. 
The other one exploded easily. How come this one isn't? I mean, it was a red, and they're not. They're a little bit more fragile than the the regular ones are. But still, there's gotta be a way to do this. I'll try one more attempt. Something's got to do it. I guess I'll go to the desk. Might as well do it over here. See what happens if I do it this way. Stuck in him. I did it. It's stuck. But he didn't explode to pieces. Oh, God. Ugh. <laughs> Any weapon that we have is going to be used on this motherfucker right here. Cut him to pieces. Said stop. You did it to mine. You made him explode. Now he has to pay. If he's not gonna explode, he's still gonna die. He's gonna bleed out from the staple that's inside of him. First, let me start off by cutting off that hand of his. Oh! Dude, stop! Would you do? Oh! 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 He'll die with you too! Pop you son of a bitch! Come on! It's peeling off part of his face! Oh! He flew! Oh! He flew! Into the kitchen. This dude's flying all over the place. Where'd he go? Shit. Jesus, where the hell did he go? He's not here, I know he did. Did he go under? Wait, there he is. I found him. I found him. Got him back. <sighs> Twist your ankle. Say good night. Say good night. Good night. Good night. Again? Jesus! Holy son! Taste the pain, bitch. Graphic, 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 graphic. Oh. Well, if they ain't doing shit, I at least cut him up really good.
Here, choke on this. Wait, that ain't doing much. I'll make him choke on this, so let me move over. Sid, what are you doing? He's gonna choke. That's what he's gonna do. Yeah, choke on that. You want some more? Drink it up, bitch. You're still barely breathing? There will be a way to finish you off. Don't worry. Assortment of weapons, attack! <laughs> so off the head. See what you have done to me, Pete? I told you I was gonna revenge on your guy in a big way. <laughs> Cut this out. How the fuck are you still alive? <laughs> it's not doing much. I cut him out real good. The hammer's gonna finish him off. I know where it is too. The same area I found the staple gun. Never mind, I found a hacksaw, wherever this is. Don't do anything. Ha! Ah, got the head. There it went. Ha ha! <laughs> Your head came off. No. Dude, you got his head. Nope. His body's going too. Make sure he's really dead. And I mean really dead. Huh. There we go. He's done now. Oh, my heart. Fuck. All you got now is dead memories. So, in other words, burn in hell. You ain't alive now, are ya? Are ya, punk? That finished him off. Oh my god, Sid, you had to go too far on this mess. You try and cut him with scissors. You use a staple gun, a hacksaw, and now you finish them off with pliers, along with trying to use a knife. Yeah, look what he did. Where is that hammer at? I know it was in there earlier. Hang on, I'll be right back again. Okay, I got the hammer. So, and now for the ultimate payback. 
I want to commit my ultimate sin, if you know what I mean. You don't mean... Oh, we're going to save the burning to another time. I'm going to save burning one of your men completely like you did to mine yesterday for another time. Why not do it now? Because it'd be just so much to keep using that technique in the consecutive episode. So, I'll do it at a later episode. I'm going to get a huge burning like you did to my guy. Because remember, Pete, you used the envelope, stuck one of my guys on it, and burned him to ashes. I'm going to do the same to one of your guys. Whether it be with an envelope or whatever piece I can find. A paper or envelope or something. For right now, my ultimate sin you're going to consider is smashing a few good pieces of men with the hammer. Jesus, Sid. You asked for it. I didn't ask for shit. Whatever. Bombs away. Strike him from above. Yeah, there we go. Beheaded him. He's dead. Oh, this guy. He got broken by the brush. Now we're going to finish him off for good. It's time. You're going to get beheaded too. Won't die, huh? Are you not ready? Are you not ready to die? Because I believe you are. Did he die? Where'd he go? He flew somewhere. Well, I might get the brush again. Beheaded him. Shit. What? Oh. Well, his head popped off. Pop that head off like a grapefruit. Is head still on? Let me go get the brush. That was an easy way of taking them out. Hold him still. Get the brush. Jeez, these are tough. I guess the really tough ones that need to be taken out, they need the pliers. Yeah, pliers work. I told you. Who's next?
Okay. And Angard. It's gonna be pliers. They're effective. Almost done. No! Last one. There. Look at this pile up. Said you son of a bitch. <laughs> Would you consider that my ultimate sin? Yes. Yes, I would. I would consider it your ultimate sin. Using a pair of pliers? It was a good method. To cut them in half. Well, whatever. You've crossed the line. I'm not the one who's going off the deep end. I don't care what they say about my madness. Apparently, you have. Yours was more insane because I didn't do that complete burning, even though I'm going to, and I don't care what anybody says about me then. I got ultimate payback like I told you I would. Well, whatever, Sid. Tell your men to stand up. And take attention, because they know what they're in for. You can't be serious. Oh, yes, I am. So get them to stand up and bow to me. Stand up, stand up. And a whole lot of other things. Whatever, Pete. Just give up your request. To try and destroy all my men. Just give it up. How about no? Because <laughs> all your revenge was for was for nothing. Like I told you. You've done this for nothing. You've only fueled your own insanity with this. They're trying to help you. They never had any idea for revenge like this. If anything, I could have been trying to help you too. So your revenge was for nothing. <laughs> My revenge was for nothing? <laughs> yeah, that's where you're wrong. That's where you're wrong, Sid. My revenge wasn't for nothing. And if anything, I'm going to take your little bitch ass out. Try again. Why don't you come over here and do it? Unless you're scared. I ain't scared of you. Really? Yeah! I'm not scared of you! You will be once I get revenge. My revenge is actually for something, which it always was in every series. I had revenge for something, unlike you. Yours is for nothing. Get over it. I'm not going to get over it because I'm not going to admit it that way. If that's all you want to say, then I got one thing for you. I'm going to make sure that a whole lot of suffering comes into you eventually. You will pay the consequences for what you did. Causing total destruction and cutting them up? What were you thinking? I told you it was an ultimate payback for you burning my guy yesterday. You can't even kill more than one. What would be the point then if all of them are already gone? 
Yes, you got a point there, but still. There's no need for this. Oh, yes, there is. Believe me. Believe me, Sid. I will have full revenge on you. And there's nothing you can do to stop me. Oh, really? Yeah, there's nothing you can do about it. So anyways, I'm off right now to come up with my next full revenge plan that actually is meaning something rather than what you call it. Oh, really? Yeah, really. You can look into my eyes and see it. Look at me, Sid. You want to call me a monster? You really want to do that to me? I mean, look at me. And consider me a monster, if that's all you think. Fuck you, you piece of shit. Why don't you go eat shit and die in a hole? That's where you belong. I don't belong in a goddamn hole, unlike you. Because killing all your men actually makes me happy. And I'll have a good payoff for what to do to you next episode. Believe me, Sid, be ready for it. And you better give my other friends back. What are you doing to my friends? I ain't done shit to your friends. You're trying to control them, you freak. I never had any plans on that. What the hell are you talking about? You had plans on it. Admit it. I'm not going to because that's not what I was thinking of. What have you done with my friends? Putting them against me like that. Taking me to checkups? These little random advice? What kind of shit are you on, Sid? I'm not on shit. You must be smoking something. Oh, really? Go ahead and say that to me. Face it, you're suffering hallucinations of insanity. You're hallucinating this shit. No, I'm not. I'm really seeing it. I'm really seeing all this unfold in front of me. Do you not realize what you just did to half of our men right there? Huh, Sid? I may have killed him, but still, I did it for a good reason. You, on the other hand, you're just using your own insanity as an excuse. It's not an excuse. And you better believe it that I'm going to get hardcore revenge on you. I will find anything I can use on you. I will go with some of the most extreme weapons yet. Whether it be a chainsaw, explosives, or anything. If you want to do full-on insanity war, psychological warfare, then it's on. And let me tell you, Sid... You're not going to beat me. You may have been here longer than I have and acted more like a psycho, but I've already... I've already studied you, what you are, and your movements. So, in other words, you don't have shit on me. Oh, I do. Believe me. I have plenty of things on you. And what about if I use those explosives or chainsaw or whatever the hell you're talking about? Go ahead and try. You don't even know how to work the damn thing, Sid. Yes, I do. Just hasn't come to that point yet to try and use it. But it will eventually. And even worse for you, I may even burn one of your men again. Well, go ahead. I'm going to do that to you anyways. Get full-on revenge. The first time I tried to burn, it didn't burn completely like my guy did. Now it's my turn to do it. But I'm going to save it till later. In a later episode. Just you wait and see. Whatever, Sid. You fucked up this time. You know you did. Oh, I didn't. You did. For trying to do that shit. If you hadn't burned my guy, I wouldn't have come up with this massacre right here I just did. Whatever, Sid. You're out of your damn mind. Oh, no, I'm not. And the idea to get one of them so hard by stapling him, hitting him with a brush and a hammer, 
and then spraying him with goddamn bug spray to poison him? What kind of stuff are you on, Sid? I told you I'm not on nothing. Don't even try and say that shit that I'm smoking something because I'm not. Maybe you are. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, yeah? Would a normal person do all that stuff you just did? Maybe not. Exactly. You're afraid to admit it. I already know I'm a psycho, okay? I don't need you to tell me. Whatever, Sid. I'm gonna tell you, you fucked up. And you're gonna lose tomorrow. Yeah. You may have almost had me this time to get your guys' only second victory of the series. But nope, I got you right at the end. Whatever, Sid. You've done this for the last time. And now, I'm gonna make sure you eat your words. And make sure you die. Pull out your intestines. Eat them like spaghetti. And even worse... I'm gonna do the same thing to Jack. You leave my brother out of this. You don't talk about Jack like that. Oh yeah? Try me then. Just let me go to him. Let me get him over here then. Pete, stop this. Here he is right here. Jack, go back. It's not safe right now to be over here. Look, look. It's okay. No, he's gonna attack you. Brother, get out of here. Why don't you go home, Pete? Go back to your group. How about no? How about I get ready for other moves? Go home. And be ready to attack you with this. Go home. And be ready for strike. Go home! Go home, you son of a bitch. Go! Get out of here! Oh! Get out of here! Go home! Just leave! Kurt! Get Mr. Man over here right now! Get your asses over here! What do you want? He's gone off the deep end so far. Send his ass home. other stuff on that matter. Sid? Yeah. I'm fine now. So tell me what has gotten into his motivation. What are you talking about? Tell me why he decided to do that. That little prick is gonna pay. Dude, really, stop. You're losing it. Completely. Oh, am I? You're gonna find out and see. <sighs> Whatever. So, yeah. Tell me all the details of this. Look, we really found something inside of him. He's got some source of madness. I don't think he's been taking anything, but still. He's just been affected. That first episode stuff really triggered his insanity really quick. And right away. All I can say is, he's gonna pay for it. For what he did. He's not gonna get away with this. And he thinks he can attack me like that? I don't think so. So anyways. Whatever, Sid, you lost your damn mind. No, I haven't. Yeah, you have. I'm connecting all the dots, bitch. On what's happening to him. He's gonna die if he keeps acting like this. No, actually he's not. He's going to be stuck in insanity for a long time if he keeps acting like that. It's going to be an increased span of him being in this mental state. If he keeps acting like this. We're all worried about him. Oh, why? 
Why would you be worried about that little dude? For burning my men yesterday like that? Yeah, well look what you did to our men, you asshole. So, I did that as payback. 